ang bu ang ano ang uh, ang buhay na lang bubu Joros yung bawa <laughs> ay magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat at sa lahat na nanonood dyan good morning good afternoon good evening at good madaling araw yeah. pero ay accent lucky charm na talaga ano yung ilo mo na yun ay hindi ako naniniwala sa lang bless ako na makasama sa pelikula iba naman din some statement yung Joros thank you Joros of course hindi makakompleto ang rest ko na to kung wala ang pinakamahusay, isa sa pinakamahusay na director ngayon, Box Office Director, the one and only Cathy Garcia Sampana! Hello, magandang araw po sa inyo na ha. Hello, Philippines, and hello, thank you. Thank you for watching. Hey, salamat! <laughs> Saka kung napapansin niyo po, kinakabog po po si Cathy Bernardo. Oo nga, mukhang may labanan ng legs sa gitna. All right, thank you, Derek. And of course, our lead stars, Ethan and Marie. Because Joy is gone. Diba? Diba? And Elder Richard! Hello po, magandang araw po. Magandang gabi. At to all our viewers and viewers here sa ating nasa Dolby Theater and sa ating mga live streams po. Hello, we're very happy to finally andito na tayo sa Grand Media Day for Hello Love again. And we're very excited to tell you our story then while making it. Ano yung naging journey namin as a group? And we're just very happy that finally a sequel for the beloved movie Hello Love again. Uh, Hello Love Goodbye will happen this year. Thank you, Alden. Kat? Hello! Good evening, everyone. This is it. Um, thank you, MJ, for doing this. Um, thank you to all the fans for the Nandito Man. And of course, among the press, it's good to see you again. Long time no see. I think the last time I saw them was a very good girl press on Bob. So thank you for your time. And yeah, it's gonna be fun, I think. Let's go. Let's go, Bobby Yan. Let's acknowledge first a few of our uh, friends and guests who are here. Of course, the president of GMA Films, Ms. Annette Gozan Valdez. Our Senior Vice President for Jimmy Films, Nessa Valdelion. First Vice President of Sparkle Jimmy Artist Center and Talent Development and Management, Ms. Joy Marcello. And of course, um, Jimmy Corporate Affairs and Communications Vice President, Angel Javier Cruz. Assistant Vice President for Corporate Communications, Jojo Accio. And of course, we also have the Head of Operations, Production, and Creatives na ABS-CBN Films, Ms. Zan Martinez! Our Acro Manager, Mika Del Rosario, is also here. Of course, ang ating um, Managing Director na ABS-CBN Films, Chris Gasman, is uh, watching us. Hi, Chris. Thanks for tuning in. And of course, siya panita ng ating CEO and President, Sir Carlo Katigbak. I'm sure Sir Carla is also watching. Yes. All right. Meron pa tayong kasama via Zoom. Ang iba niyo pang mga co-stars. They're joining us via Zoom. Let's introduce them one by one. Of course, para nga hindi makakompleto ang uh, Hello Love Again. Kung walang medyo nakakatuwa ng mga kasama. Gaya ni Jobberos. Siyempre, kasama dito si Jobbert Austria. Hi, Jobbert! Wala kang audio. Pero nila, huwag kang nagabi po. O ngayon, wala ka namang mata. Nila, huwag kang nagabi po. Hi, Jobbert. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Also joining us is Mark Labella. Hi, Mark. Hello. Sa atong mga Bisaya nila, maayong hapon. And then, magandang gabi. It's night time, right? Is it? Yes, it's almost 6 in the evening here in Manila. Thank you, Mark. Maraming salamat. Also joining us is Marvin Aritranco. Hi, Marv. Hello, everyone. Greetings from LA. Kamusta kayo dyan? We're good. We're very excited for today's event. Thank you, Mar Marvin. Now, let's call in. Siyempre, meron tayo international actor in the house. Kevin Greiner. Hi, Kev. Hi, Kevin. Hello, good morning, and hello, love again. Wow! Promo-promo! 
Kev, do you know a few Filipino words? Salamat po. You say pogi ako. Pogi ako. There you go. Thank you, Kevin. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Pero let's talk about first yung inyong um, teaser. Alam niyo ba naka 30.2 million views na yun across all platforms? Grabe. Actually, marami tayong milestones sa pag-uusapan ngayong gabi. Dahil sa teaser pa lang, ang dami ng records, ang dami ng milestones, what if ipalabas na yung pelikula? Diba? Direct Kati, are you ready for that? <laughs> We're very, very excited. Yung kanina, pinakita natin yung highlights ng inyong mall tours. Um, last Sunday, October 13, in Cavite, SM City, Papuor, had 5,000 crowd attendance. Grabe! SM City, Das Marinas had 10,000. Parami na parami as we uh, get closer to November 13. Now, meron tayong first big announcement for today. Alright? Uh, malalaman niya in a short while, pero alam niyo ba yung teaser trailer niyo? Or yung trailer niyo pala had 21.5 million views across all platforms. Ang daming interesado, ang daming gusto nang mapanood, kaya trailer pala solved na solved na sila. Doon sa mga hindi ko nakapanood, eto, kapalabas natin ang trailer at nakadikit dyan yung ating first big announcement for today. Let's watch this. Ay, mo naman dito, that's right. Walang araw na hindi ko inisip na sana marating na natin yung future na pinangarap natin pero ba? A future with no goodbyes. And in that future, Joy, you have a home in me. November 15. In Middle East Theaters, November 28. Tickets available beginning October 16 in United Arab Emirates. In Singapore Theaters, November 28. In Malaysia Theaters, November 28. In Cambodia Theaters, November 29. In Hong Kong Theaters, November 2024. 
Watch out for special screenings with Catherine Bernardo and Alden Richards in the following locations at Davis. November 22, Los Angeles, California. November 24, Toronto, Canada. November 30, United Arab Emirates. Oh. We're very grateful because of the efforts, of course, of uh, all the producers and also the marketing team behind this. And parang we really owe this uh, movie to the people who have helped us make this happen, and also to all the fans of the Hello Love Goodbye and, uh, movie before. And uh, come to think of it, we're, we're parang ang laki laki ng mga nangyayari ngayon. We didn't like, we didn't expect it to be like this, but more than that, we're we're fulfilled and. We're very happy with what's happening, and makikita to ng buong mundo at the same time na hindi malayo kung sa screening date natin dito sa Philippines. So thank you po, thank you so much for the support, everyone. Salamat. I agree with you on that. Kasi dati weeks ang hinihintay. Even months pa. Even months, months pa. But now hindi halos sabay sabay. Kat. Since um, day one, we felt the support of, of course, my home network, ABS-CBN, and now with GMA Pictures. And nararamdaman ko lang, um, siguro na, kapag um, nagtulungan, you see, ito yung nangyayari. And yung support na yun, ang laking bagay sa amin nila, Derek Kathy and ni Alden. Kasi, we need that din. Um, we need a fuel sa amin. And now that we are showing it, not just here, but also internationally, Ang nakakatuwa kasi story naman talaga nila to and maybe it's time for the world to see yung mga gawang Pinoy. So hopefully, tanggapin nila. We're very hopeful for that. And uh, yeah, may mga pupuntahan kami ilang screenings uh, para kami mismo yung nandun kasama nila. So um, we're just hoping for the best. Thank you, Kat. Then, Kat, I want to hear your ano, reaction after seeing that. Na parang uh, different territories papalabas. Gusto ko yun. Lagi, hindi. Overwhelmed eh. Overwhelming. Every time ka dito, parang ano nga bang gusto kong sabihin. Siguro walang iba kung hindi maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat kay Lord who is making all this possible and um, we remain humble and um, at your service po para sa inyo naman lahat ng pinigol na. Thank you, Lord. Ati, maraming salamat. Gaya ng sabi ni Kat, let's go! Simulan na natin ang ating uh, uh, media conference, we we will go first sa ating mga press na kasama overseas. From TFC Asia and Pacific, we have via Zoom, Annaline Violata. Hi, Annaline. Evening from down under, din sa Australia. Hi! Hi. Ang question ko ay una kay Katrin at kay Alden. Uh, congratulations muna sa buong class at syempre kay Direk um, Kathy, dahil oh, nung in-announce pa lang na uh, magkakaroon ng sequel itong o oh, nung nagdaang Hello, Love, Goodbye ay inabangan na yun ang mga natin dito sa Australia at sa yan sa managing trending na topic dito ng mga kababayan natin. Pero yung question ko is sa sequel na ito ng Hello, Love, Again Katrina, 
Alden, ano yung qualities ng mga OFW na na-highlight dun sa role ninyo at talaga namang tumatak habang ginagawa ninyo yung community. At yung question ko kay Direct Cathy, kung magkakaroon ng part 3, alam ko hindi pa na ipapaglabas ang uh, part 2, pero mga chance ba na sa Australia naman gawin at pamagatan ito ng uh, Hello, Love Down Under. <laughs> Si Annalyn, hindi pa nga pinapalabas yung hello lang. Eh, may part 3 nang ini-request. Okay, we go first. Kina Alden and Catherine, yung kanyang question about sa qualities ng mga international workers na tumatak sa inyo while portraying your roles. Marami actually, kahit naman din during Hello Love Goodbye, actually mas more of yung struggles ni Joy yung nakita natin doon. But I think at this uh, point of the film, makikita rin natin yung naging hardships ni Ethan in terms of being away from the people that he loves. And I think yung mga qualities talaga ng mga kababayan natin na sa ibang bansa at nagtatrabaho is really the sacrifice and the hard work and yung mga pinagtataanan nila just to give their family a better life, you know. May ganun talagang traits kasi tayo as Filipinos eh. We always uh, get out of our way and um, kalimutan muna kahit hindi man pandat panandalian or pangmatagalan yung sarili natin para sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. And with this film po, makikita nila yon on both characters, between Ethan and Joy, na yung mga bagay na kailangan nilang isakripisyo, is, ang tanong ba dun, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth the sacrifice? So, kaya yung mga, ayoko lang talaga mag-divulge much about what's gonna happen, but it's really more about the lives of the, uh, our international workers, the lives of uh, the people who's working away from their families every day. The, the, the things that they have experienced, the things that they have, you know, set aside to give their families a better life. Their sacrifices. Yeah. Yes. Grabe. Thanks, Alvin. Kath? Um, ever since we did um, Hello, Love, Goodbye, the first part, the main focus really naman talaga was the, um, our OFWs are also known as the international workers. So we they, we, they created this film to tell their stories, their sacrifices, and all, um, um, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay nila. So with this, siguro, um, nung ginawa namin yung sa Hong Kong, ang dami namin, um, parang naging aware na siya kung paano talaga yung buhay nila. I think it's very different once you experience it firsthand and you meet them, you get to talk to them. So yun yung una. Tapos ngayon na ginawa namin tong sa Canada, iba din yung buhay ng mga nagtatrabaho dito. Tapos I think naging malaking tulog din there, Kathy and the team, sila Ate Carmi went there ahead of time bago kami to do their research. They interviewed um, different um, um, international workers and then ginawa nila yung inspiration. Actually, ibang scene namin was inspired because of their stories. So very real. It's very real. So nakaka- um, amazed kung gaano katatag tayo mga Pilipino, especially mga nagtatry abroad. Iba, iba yung hirap doon. It's physically tiring, it's emotionally challenging. Na kami nga na isang buwan lang doon, medyo, whoa, medyo mahirap doon. Ano pa sila na ilang years na lang. So we have so much respect for them. And hopefully this movie will mirror their lives and mabigyan yung respect na deserve na lang lahat. Thank you, Kat. Direct Kathy. Medyo pa-advance ng konti yung tanong ni Annaline eh. Kung may party ba daw, pwede bang hello, love, down, under? <laughs> Ayoko muna tumalun doon. Dito muna tayo, darling. <laughs> but uh, God willing, I mean, kung ano man ang puntahan natin after nito, basta ko nasa ng Pinoy 24. Ganda. Thank you, Direct Cat. Annaline, maraming salamat. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much. Actually, ang dami kong tanong mamaya, Kat, no? regarding yung sa sinabi mong na-experience ng mga international workers and art of in Canada. Pero mamaya na yun. I'll go first to Steve Angeles of TFC North America. Hi, Steve! Hello again, MJ. Hi, Kat. Alden, Direct. Good to see you all again. Um, but I just heard you guys were just here last year for a uh, very good girl. And uh, Alden was here for the film festival. So I actually wanted to start off with this question is, um, Especially because we're continuing to set all of these uh, box office records and doing this globally, it's just how important is it? Is the global market, the global, the OFW market, all of us Filipinos everywhere in the world, how important is that when we not only set these records in terms of watching the movie, but also 
We're using them as our settings. We're filming in Canada. We're also the stars. Like uh, my friends Mark and Marvin are part of it. Um, you guys got Kevin Kreider from Bling Empire. So, just how much of that helps uh, bring our Philippine cinema globally? And also, secondly, another question I had is, um, ang ganda naman ng uh, panahon for Filipino cinema. I know Hello Love Goodbye was number one record holder until this year, and then you know that was broken by another star cinema movie and. You know, this one also has high expectations. If you guys could describe this, um, what a healthy competition and how good is it for Philippine cinema everywhere? All right. Thanks, Steve. Uh, your first question is how big of an impact your global audience in generating the numbers? Who can answer this? Uh, Siguro, Carmi, baka you can answer that. It's very important because, diba, parang the past two years, we've seen yung naging response ng Filipino audience here in the Philippines do sa mga movies na nilalabas natin. We're very, very excited. We're looking forward to see how the Filipinos abroad, our international workers, our international audiences would also react to this movie. It's very important because first and foremost, it's their story. So from, from, from the beginning, from the concept, uh, it's about them. So we want them to be a part of it, not only uh, through the story, but to celebrate with them once the movie comes out in the theaters wherever they are in the world. So that's why it's very important yung milestone natin kanina, na nabibridge natin, papaitli natin yung time, the, uh, from the showing here in the Philippines to showing it uh, in different parts of the world, para we, we feel as like one big community from all over the world watching the same movie all together at the same time. So, iba yun, di ba? Ang sarap ng pakiramdam na yun na kahit through a movie lang, we get to be connected. We get to be together at the same time. Saka maganda doon, mapanood siya ng mga kahit ng non-Filipinos. Yes. Di ba? So that they would understand our culture. Di ba? Uh, thank you, Carmi. Yung second question niya is uh, the competition. Direct, Kathy, baka pwede ikaw ang sumagot nito, no? Na parang, uh, describe the healthy competition when it comes to box office. Oh, actually, best, uh, isa sa mga best friends ko yung Tomaloy. So, <laughs> I love May Cruz and uh, Ding Dong and Maria. <laughs> yes, uh, but ever since, no, kami nila Wendy, uh, tama, it's a healthy competition. Kasi, ang nagbe-benefit audience mo, eh. Diba? So, pagaganda. Para ano lang yan, kahit anong business. Pag nagko-contest kayo, gumaganda na gumaganda yung produkto para sa mga consumers. In the same manner, pag pelikula, ganun din. I-contest tayo yung pagandaan. So, wala siyang masamang epekto. Kasi, uh, yun, nagbe-benefit yung consumers, yung ating mga manonood. At uh, kami rin naman, buti na lang hindi ko nag-aaw. Charit! Charit! <laughs> Thank you, Direk. Steve, maraming salamat! Good night. It's almost 3 a.m. yata sa LA. Thank you, Steve. Maraming maraming salamat. Now, all the way from United Kingdom, we have MJ Robles. Hi, MJ. Hi, uh, this is MJ Robles. I'm back to the third and I have to stay. If we have to... MJ, parang medyo uh, choppy ng konti yung uh, iyong signal. I am here on the best all the way from. Okay, let's go back to MJ later. Uh, let's check uh, your yeah. uh, connection. Oh, muna. Okay. Sorry, I'm not Yeah, MJ, check your connection. We'll get back to you later. Maraming salamat. Okay, uh, balikan natin mamaya si MJ all the way from United Kingdom. Can you hear me now? I'm better. Can you hear me better? Yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. That's a lot better. Ayan, hello. Ayan, perfect. Go. Hey. Balikan na lang natin. Balikan na lang natin, okay? Uh, simulan natin yung ating mga questions from our local press naman. They're here. They're very excited for uh, you to share about Hello Love again. Pero bago pala yan, okay. I went to Calgary, right? May nakausap ako mga Pinoy doon. Ang sinabi nila sa akin, what they're most excited is to see how Joy started. Kung paano siya nagsimula. 
sa Canada. Makukwento dito yon, Carney. Kasi ang kwento sa akin, yung kaibigan ko, nagpapahala daw siya ng snow. Yun, isa sa mga nagsisplag, simulan niya noon. Carney, natatawa ko, natatawa ka. Kasi totoo yun. Di ba? Yun talaga eh. Tapos na, after nagpapahala ng snow, um, sa mga restaurants, sa mga yeah. cafes. Hindi mo ma magugulat ka what our kababayan, yung our, our Filipino international workers go through mm -hmm. when they when they choose to move, to uproot themselves and move to another country. And start again. And start again. From, di ba, parang no matter how big you are from wherever in the world, once you move and and uh, start over again sa another country, back to zero. Tama. So, lahat naman yung kinuwento nila sa amin. So, nakaka-galing mm -hmm. ang tatag talaga nila. Grabe. Okay. Um, let's talk about our roles. Kasi kanina kita ng trailer, pero yung iba doon gusto namin malaman kung ano yung mga inyong mga papel. Uh, Janica, hello. Ayan. Kwento ka tayo ng ating mga roles dito sa Hello Love again. Go ahead. Kinakabahan ako sa ikot dito ba nakaupo? Siguro ako mo unang tanongin. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun na nga. Ikaw na ba? Ayun na nga. Um, and hello po. Ako po si Jenica. I play the role of baby. Um, born and raised po ako dito in Canada. Half Filipina, half delusional. <laughs> ano? Ano? Half delusional? <laughs> Delulu. Uh, oh, green card holder po ako dito. Ako. Ay, kabo! Yes! Ang aim ko po talaga dito nung ginagawa ko to, eh, represent ko po ng mabuti yung ating Delulu girlies na manuno. Wait! Bakit Delulu girlies? Can you elaborate? Elaborate? Uh, healthcare assistant na lang po. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, yun, makapanood po din yung maraming salamat po direct na TV. Alright, siguro ano yan eh, baka spoiler pag in-expound na ni Janet. Pagiging delulu. Maraming salamat. Valerie, what's your role here? Yes, uh, kung naman po dito, I play the role of Jambi. Um, co-worker and um, housemate at friend ni Marie. Hindi ko na siya kilala bilang Joy. Ay. Dahil sa Canada ko na siya nakilala. So, kilala ko na siya as Marie. Marie. Yes. Ayan. Thanks, Valerie. Sa mga kasamahan natin na sa Zoom, ano yung ating mga roles? Jobbert, ikaw muna. <laughs> no. Uh, ano? <laughs> uh, ano? Si, ano, Italino. Dito, dito ako ni Jim. Ah. Doro. Okay. Maganda yung ano, maganda yung... Basta, ang hirap kasi yung kwento. Hindi, hindi. Magsalita ka. Magsalita ka, Jobbert. At dito ako eh. Direct ka. Kasi... Masaya yun. Direct ka mo sa katrabaho si Jobbert. Yung totoo? Oo. Hindi. Si Jobbert po, actually, dati po si Joros talagang clown namin. Napalitan na po siya ni Jobbert. Grabe hanggang crew namin, tawan-tawan, nangyayak na sila sa katatawa dyan. Hindi dahil sa umaarte siya, ha? <laughs> dahil nakakatawa lang talaga siya. Nakakatawa lang talaga siya. Oh. And, uh, meron pa sanang ibang adjective for him, pero I choose not to say Ayan na. <laughs> Off-cam na lang yun. Pero Jobbert, you're based in Canada na? Oo, oh, dito na. Dito na ako. Kasama yung pamilya ko. And, uh, Ah, uh, international worker na no, kasi kaming tatrabaho ko so experience ko talaga yung mga experience ng uh, international worker ng mga kababayan natin. Yung pagpapala ng snow, na nasa natin yan. Oh. So, eh. MJ, pakitanong mo bakit siya natanggal sa pagiging construction worker? O oh, bakit nga daw ba? <laughs> eh, kasi nga nung, di ba bago ako rin dito, nag-apply ako, nagtrabaho ng construction worker. Tapos, syempre, puro Pilipino yung mga kasama ko. Nung pumasok ako, sisipag nila eh. Kaso, nung nandun ako, kwento, kwento, after one week, kinausap ko nung ano, nung ano nila, yung forma nila, sabi ko, when you came, nobody's working, always laughing, let's eat. So, one week, pinuwi ako, in-unterpowered. 
kasalanan mo na magpapalaga. Pero I'm very happy, Jobbert, na pasama ka sa movie na to! Thank you po, Rock. Sobra, sobra blessed po po na dito na ako nakatira eh. Na naisip na maano, makasali ako eh. Talagang, ano, sobrang challenging kasi unang isyan ako po, take 20. Take 20 agad. Kaya po, tuto ko ako naman. Kaya naman pala nagwisit sa'yo si Marang Chia. Thank you, Jobbert. Thank you very much. Let's go to Mark this time. Mark, ano ba ang role natin dito sa Hello Love again? Hi guys, uh, we're one of Catherine's best friends. We own the house that she's staying in. We don't know who Joy is. Hindi namin kilala si Joy. We know Marie. Marie. And uh, we'll find out why. Wait, but sinabi siya owns the house? Yeah. He owns the house. Kung saan ang rumerenta si Marie. Ayun. Direct, kung saan makatrabaho si Mark? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, uh, nakakatuwa. Kasi hindi naman talaga siya mga artista eh. I mean, Pinoy na ka-artista. Ano may yung katrabaho kung ganito? Yeah. Pero marunong sila. They're very natural. They're good at um, instructions. They're smart people. And of course, yung dila nila, yun yung kailangan ko, yung pong-pong talaga. Kasi di ba yung mga Pinoy na doon lumaki? Hindi kasi yung like buo, slang-slang na sila. So, I really love the, uh, the two. Um, they're very... Kahit andun sila, Pinoy na Pinoy pa rin ang kultura. Yan. Mark, thank you very much. Let's go to Marvin. Marvin, ano ba ang role mo dito? Oh, ako si Marvin as Marvin. Yourself! As yourself! Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, kami yung may anong mamahay were Marie Stanyat as well as si John Birin, si Valerie. And, uh, ayun, PR kami. Permanent president. <laughs> yung term. And, uh, ayun, makasawa kami ni Mark sa film. Oh, so couple, nakatira, di ba? Thank you, Marvin. Ito naman, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Can you uh, tell us your role here in the movie? Hi. Um, I play the role of a gentleman named Uno, and he gets in between, but not intentionally, between the two, uh, Ethan and Marie. And I also just know her as Marie as well, so... Um, We'll see what happens, but in America we say three's a crowd, so maybe. <laughs> oh, Kevin, how does it feel working with Catherine and uh, Alan? Oh, it's, it's really an honor to um, work with uh, both uh, Catherine and um, Alan because great talent. I mean, it's the first time I've worked with uh, Filipino talents uh, besides Mark and Marvin. Um, but it's an honor to be a part of this whole movie and um, the Filipino pride for this movie. The love that it, it has. It's, it's just an honor to be a part of it. And they're amazing actors to work with. Uh, they made me feel very welcome and they did everything to make me feel at ease and welcome while working with them. Is this your first time to work with a Filipino production? Yeah, this is the first time working How with How is it? It's awesome. I mean, it's it's funny. Uh, it's fun. Like that's the thing in, in America. Everything feels a little bit more like uh, just uh, tense. But there's like a ease and joy and familiarity working with uh, a Filipino production company. Yeah, and I, I know you're friends with a lot of Filipino celebrities as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one thing is, uh, every time I hang out or work on a Filipino set, I uh, it seems like I gain a little bit of weight. Why? <laughs> Food and uh, hollow, hollow, I can't say no. So it's just, I always gain a little weight every time I work or visit the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Kat, Alan, how's it working with Kevin? Uh, actually, it's more of Kat. It's more of Kat. Yeah, more of Kat. It's more of Kat. Yeah, more of Kat. Yeah. More, yeah. more of me. Marie, uh, yes. Um, when Derek Kathy mentioned now, um, it's a different actor, so because we were expecting someone from the Philippines and then if we fly in Canada to be the love triangle, it was there Kathy who mentioned that he wanted to, uh, she wanted to have someone that uh, was very fresh now. So I think it's very refreshing to see um, Uno, Kevin, um, in the movie because I think perfect lang siya talaga, dun sa hinihingi sa character ni Uno. Um, 
Parang Pinoy na rin yan. It's a good Asian representation too because he's Korean, we're Filipinos, and we're working on a Filipino film. So, isn't just, um, di ba? Parang so interesting to see to kung paano mag-work lahat to. And I think this is his first Filipino um, uh, movie as well. So, I hope it was um, a good experience for him. And yeah, like what he said, he's just very open when it comes to food, but the inside jokes ni, but the mga jokes ni Tukli Joros na in English para maintindihan ni ni Kevin. Bentang bento sa akin. Bentang bento sa akin. Yes, and then um, nakita mo na siguro yung openness ng lahat, not just with Kevin but with um, um with the rest of the cast to get to know each other and just you no know, small talks. It's um it's a big big help para biglang ma build yung yung friendship kasi we have ano very limited time so kailangan mo build yung rapport na yun para natural kami makita on screen so it um lahat with Tita Ruby pa wala sa Tita Ruby dito working with her is also a, a different experience that's Ruby Rodriguez it's Ruby Rodriguez she's based in LA naman kasi nilipad din siya to Canada to be part of the movie yes, right yes. she's okay. part of this too. thank you Kat maraming maraming salamat let's go now to our questions from our local press the first question is from Natalie Tomado Philippine star it's for Catherine and Alden pakuento the first time you said hello to each other what were your first impressions and how did those impressions change or evolve after working with each other? Can you still remember the first time you said hello? So the first time po, actually beforehand, uh, since parang mas ahead lang yung age ko ng konti kita, medyo may group kasi before, yung parang team group ng Jimmy and then in group ng EBS, parang we had a common phone endorsement before then we shot all together. Tapos ever since then, nakikita kita na rin kami sa events, but just hi hello. Hi hello lang talaga. But uh, yung talaga... Just wait. No? Okay, so lang. Parang ganun. Pero the first time talaga was... Uh, yung talaga nang nakausap when I had a longer time with her was when hello, love, goodbye was brought to the table. And dito yun sa main... In front of ABS, there's a restaurant here. That was the first time. And then, parang, since then, a first impression ko ta talaga kay Kat is sobrang gaan lang. I mean, uh, no effort. No effort kang kailangan mong gawin for you to be able to be friends with her. And, uh, you know, as the, as we did Hello, Love, Goodbye, medyo iba lang yung setup during that time. And uh, so, parang we really also got the time to talk to each other during the promos na. And then when we do the international screenings, and then, then pandemic came, the movie uh, finished in 2019, and then five years after, parang Hello Love Again was brought to the table. Man. So I got the chance to talk to Kat uh, longer, nakilala ko siya. Uh, we had a deeper understanding about each other, and at the same time, yung... Um, Parang yung how we see life. I think yun yung isa sa mga magandang qualities ni Kat na she doesn't, no, alam niya kung ano yung mga bagay na siseryosohin niya. Alam niya yung mga bagay na dapat light lang. Dapat nitian lang or, you know, just, you know, i-lift up na lang niya sa universe. So, working with her right now, especially in this project, with everything that has happened in the past years, I saw how Kat has grown and has matured, become the lady that she is right now. And, uh, ma, ano yan, mahili kumain. Naan? Nang anything. As in, as in, if there's something na nagkakasundo kami, it's, it's always food. But, yeah, alam ko siya ang food. Ako po, ako yun, ako ba? Si Alden. Dinadala niya ako ng food. Ah. Si Kat. Tapos, basta may pagkain nandun. Nandun kami. Oo. Ano kami, basta may food na unang pagdating namin sa set food, agad yung hahanapin namin. And parang right now, na nakakatawa lang how both of us has grown already from the first movie, now working again for, for this film, has been, uh, you know, an opportunity of a lifetime. Kasi who would know, di ba? Parang five years has passed, who would have known na magkakaroon ulit ng sequel yung nalulag, di ba? And right now, we're very happy with the film. Excited kami mapanood nila to and um, we're just very excited and blessed to have this film to be shown all over the world. Thanks, Alvin. Do you remember, Kath, the first time you said hello to him? I think the official hello namin was the one in front of ABS. Yun yung formally um, na-introduce kami 
Um, tapos nakatok ano 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 approachable kasi diba usually may um, normal awkwardness naman every time you meet uh, someone na bago lalo pag, pag magkaibang network kayo ganyan but siguro nung una parang hindi ko na feel yun hindi naman yung instantly chumika na ako agad sa kanya kasi shy girl din ang tamag but I think hindi yung walang hindi ako nag-hesitant masyado uh, parang wala yung hesitancy because alam ko na I can talk to him, especially siguro ngayon, like through the years, um, after hello love, goodbye, and then we were able to maintain the friendship, and then we did this. Now, I think it's safe to say that the big change that happened was the friendship, definitely. Like before, um, di, may mga hindi kami pwede pag-usapan na bagay na about life, about random things. And now, it's just so easy to talk to this guy. Like, pwede ko siya pag, um, pag-usapan namin about yung pinaka-random na may isip mo. And kung gusto mo din ng serious conversation, you can talk to him. And I think it's something na, um, nag, ano, nagpa, parang it's a good foundation of the friendship, the time, the trust is there. And, um, yeah, the openness. Yeah. So, siguro, you didn't appreciate it. Yeah, we really got to know each other. Or this time. Yeah. Second hellos. Second hellos. Second hellos. Okay. Uh, I skipped Joros kanina. Yung sa mga roles. Ay, Joros. Sorry, yung nakalimutan. Oo. Oh, oh. Joros, oh, yung role mo. <laughs> yung role mo sa movie. Same, same, but different. Ah! Are then, you high? Then, <laughs> ako nalang kasi ang isa lang sa ihila na nakakakilala pa sa kanya as Joy. Kasi lahat kilala na siya as Marie. Ama. So, kami na lang dito ni Ita na nakakakilala sa kanya as Joy. So, uh, katulad ka ng sina, uh, sinabi ni Jobber, siya yung tito ko rito. So, kung napansin nyo, medyo may sayat ako. Kung saan galing yung sayat? Sa kanya! Doon sa kanila. <laughs> sa kanya. So, dito, ano eh. Uh, as always naman, parang ako yung medyo mangungulit sa sa kanilang dalawa. So, ayan, abangan ninyo. Abangan. Hindi <laughs> ba nga pwede? Hindi, <laughs> eh. Hindi na nga pwede. Bawal, eh. Oh, matalimitin yun sa akin. Nakamantay na, eh. Siyempre, we don't have to elaborate na the roles of uh, Ethan and Marie. Di ba? Uh, yung second question na lang ni Natalie is from for Direct Cathy. What's the biggest or most surprising change you've noticed in Catherine and Alden's chemistry on screen? On set after directing them for the second time around. Medyo humila. Ay! Kasi sinabi mo, huwag mag-usap pag tingin ko nagkakainan pa nila din sa kwarto kay Miss. Ay, ang palag pa nagkakainan. Sorry, sorry. Changed, you know? 
Well, I know with the story din naman. Siyempre nakagawa na kami ng isang buong pelikula. Pero dito sa part 2, the trust was there. It was very evident. It was so clear. Beyond the friendship that I saw, kasi parang given na siya eh, may tiwala sila sa isa't isa. And uh, I, I admire both of them that they support each other so much na kahit nakatalikod, inuubos yung luha. Naloka ko kasi nung isa nalala may anak. Pag reverse ko, sabi ko, para mas umiyak ka pa nung nakatalikod ka. Oh, okay. Hindi ka na mawalit. Hindi na hirapan na siya nung shot na niya kasi nung shot ni Alden, iyak na rin siya ng iyak. Ganun din naman si Alden. So, but it's a very good practice, no? To to all actor, actors who wanna be na masarap sa isang artista na yung ka-accept, ka-accept mo, ibinibigay din yung yung kailangang emotion para makakuha ka ng emotion. And they have that, and uh, I really love that about them. Tapos yun, yung trust. I think trust and respect, yun yung sobrang evident sa akin dito na wala, walang tanong, walang pahirapan, walang pwede ba, Catherine? Pwede ba, Alden? Wala. Alam nilang kailangan ng kwento, I did not have to ask. Tumanda na rin sila, nagpatsun na rin sila. I congratulate you both. Wow! Congratulations! Alright, let's move on. Ayana, uh, are you with somebody? Yes, MJ. Thank you so much. I have one of our friends here from Manila Standard, Angelica Villanueva. Okay. Hello, guys. Uh, congratulations. Uh, my questions will be... Uh, my first questions will be for Marie, Kathleen. Um, how hard it was, or was it harder to portray the role of a healthcare worker in Canada for Hello Love Again than doing the role of a domestic helper in Hello Love Goodbye? Yung ganda ng tanong. Kasi transition yun, ha? Ang ganda ba ka? I think it's very hard. <laughs> As ka, muna bago si Marie, tata si Joy, okay? Because, um, I... Kailangan i-keep namin kung ano yung nakilala ng mga tao na si Joy. But then we, um, parang kahit di naman nila sabihin, parang feeling ko lang kailangan ko siya lagyan ng ibang flavor when it comes to to Marie. And paano mo nga iibahin yung, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa Hong Kong? Ano naman yung buhay ng mga nagtatrabaho sa Canada? So, bakit nila papanood ito? Anong difference na hindi nila napanood dito na mapapanood nila? You know, ang dami. Iba talaga. Magkaiba yung mga um, yung tao doon. Siguro because um, si Joy, um, bilang domestic helper siya sa Hong Kong, it requires a lot of physical strength. So it's physically tiring. And di ba si Joy, kilala naman natin, wala siyang inaatrasan kahit anong trabaho gagawin niya. Any, di ba lahat ng side hustles gagawin niya para lang maka-provide sa pamilya and for her dreams. And ganun pa rin dito si Marie. Um, siya yung klase na tao na walang pride, walang anything. Kung ikikikitain na ng pera, no problem. But this time, as healthcare worker naman, naiba din mundo to. So ngayon, may nakilala siya kay mga tao. Like, you have Ate here, Janica, and everybody na magbibigay ng ibang flavor as well sa buhay ni Marie. So iba siya. So at the, um, it's very familiar once you watch it, the character of Joy, it's still there. Pero nung nagka-Marie siguro, parang medyo mas nakarelate ako kay Marie personally. Mas malapit yung personality namin. So ang saya niya paglaroan, but at the same time, yun yung naging challenge sa amin. Kasi hindi mo naman pwede kalimutan na bigla-bigla sa Joy. Kailangan meron pa rin mga bakas ni Joy, but at the same time, may bago kang inulog forward sa character niya, which is Marie. So it's fun to play around with it. But um, kung hindi lang siguro, kung hindi mo siya masyadong kilala, Ayaw mo naman gawin na half-bake lang yung mabibigay ni Marie. So sana kung paano nila tanggap, tinanggap si Joy, para mas maintindihan niya kung ano din yung pain na pinagkaana ni Joy, kaya niya nagawa magkaroon ng, kaya nagkaroon ng Marie. So di natin alam why, di natin alam yung reasons niya behind it, but definitely, um, marami siyang kailangan um, lumukit para kalimutan yung Joy na nakita ng mga tao na yun. So kailangan panoorin nila yun sa movie. Angelica, sorry susundot lang ako. No? Parang, tama ba ako, Kath? When Joy left Hong Kong, 
may willingness na sa kanya to go to Canada. So, ando doon na yun. It's Ever not like, was she forced? Hindi eh, di ba? No, it was her dream. Dream to go to Canada eh, To be a nurse in Canada. So, yun yung ending ng Hello Love Goodbye. Papunta siya. So, may baon siyang willingness sa parang gusto talaga niyang gawin yun? Yes, gusto niya talaga. From the very start, I think, um, um, Oh, alam naman niya na parang temporary lang. Eh, yes. Parang spot over lang yung Hong Kong. Diba? Kasi yung main goal na talaga, gusto niya mag-Canada, yun yung dream niya, tapos mag-America. Kasi ang sarap baunin yun nung audience pagpasok nila ng sinihan. Yes. Alam nila na si Joy, gusto talaga niya mag-Canada. Yes. Para pag pinanood na. So I think it's um, gonna be helpful then siguro kapag may bago nila panoorin tong part 2, parang mag-ano ka, parang you know, mag- rewatch. rewatch ng Hello Love Goodbye. Para lang ma- maalala mo, ano ba yung nangyari dito? Tapos pag pinanood daw, medyo connected siya. Ganda. In a way, yeah. Thanks, Kat. Angelica, your second question, please. Um, thank you, Kat. Um, nice question, Ruby, for, um, to Ethan. Um, hi, Alden. Um, Go po. This ego was taken like over five years ago after Hello Love Goodbye. Ago. So, madali ka bang nakabalik sa role mo as Ethan? Especially in some ways, you're more mature than compared before. Thank you. Yes, kasi si Ethan, prior to, uh, during the first uh, film, medyo nakita naman natin na medyo hindi siya ganun ka, not naman serious about life, but medyo, medyo nandun pa siya sa playful side niya. But uh, of course, still given, masipat siya, he works hard for his family dahil uh, gusto niya magkaroon ng uh, permanence in Hong Kong, gusto niya maging residente doon during that time. And yet, joy came in. So, for, for the question of madali ba akong nakabalik, medyo naging mahirap dahil uh, it's been a long time. And uh, parang yun din kasi minsan, but uh, ang nagiging struggle ng actors, you know, doing a sequel after a certain project na medyo mahaba yung panahon na, na pinagal. But with the help of Derek Cathy, of course, yun sila, Ati Karn, sila Tala, of course, Kat, and the whole team. Kasi once na nailagay ko yung sarili kong ulit dun sa ganung setup, same team, same people, same faces while doing the first film, mabilis bumalik si Ethan eh. And uh, I think Ethan never really left me. Uh, and, and dito lang siya. Uh, so yun nga yung sinabi ko kay Derek na parang uh, nahirapan lang akong kunin ulit yung kamay niya but with the guidance of Derek Gatti during the filming of this project, nahila ko siya ulit. And uh, with his uh, approach in life right now, I think nakita natin din yun sa trailer yun na parang ano yung dumating sa kanya, ano yung naging, uh, pang, ano yung naging event sa buhay niya para masabi niya, Joy, I don't want you ba? Bakit niya sinabi yun? To think that during the first film, parang gusto niya ibigay yung buong mundo kay Joy. Bakit ngayon may ganun? So those are the things na medyo nag in the character of Ethan here in this film. And at the same time, yung how the turn of events and circumstances affected his life decisions at that point. So medyo, medyo kakaiba po yung magiging dynamics ngayon ni Joy, ni Ethan and Barney in this film. Alright, thanks Angelica. Marami salamat. Dami ko pang tanong. Meron dami nakapila eh. Kaya let's go back to MJ Robles from United Kingdom. Yes, saka humawag na ako ng mic eh. Kasi malalim yung kwento ni Ethan eh. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Safe, safe. MJ, you're back. Yes, I'm back. Can you hear me now? Babe? Yes, perfect. Yes, hello. Can you sort of hold this I would like to show all the United Kingdom style, but we can tie it. But anyway, my name is MJ as well. So, parang si Mary Joyce is also an MJ. No, pinanood na ng Hello, Love, Goodbye in five years ago in London and United Kingdom. Talaga, super box office hit. Pero I'm sure sana eh, uh, magagawa ko yung paraan na makunta rin yung movie sa United Kingdom and Europe. So, my question is, um, of course, for both to Katrin and Alden, is with the character you played as Ethan and Joy, in the original, it's like it's a sequel because you have like two characters, right? I'm sure you have studied them well and invite the values and the idiosyncrasies to be able to play the roles well during the filming. So this is my question. What do you think is the character, personality that is closest to you in real life or something 
you can relate with most and say, oh, this is me. Or this can be me in real life. Kasi, I'm sure uh, we agree, di ba? Kapag pinapanood yung, kasi yung ganitong pelikula, lalo na kayo, tanong na sa abroad, nababago kasi yung pananaw namin. Kaya, ang dami kong iyak, Lunda, Hello Love Goodbye. I'm sure marami rin tayo mapapaiyak ulit. But I think hopefully we're coping for a happy part. So that's my question. Thank you. Pwede nga no, sumagot ng konti. Oh, yes, sige uh, direct. Hi direct. Hi. 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 Oo. <laughs> si, si Catherine Carino was able to answer a bit of it, no? That uh, Marie is closer to uh, her, no? Kasi yung talagang hello, love, goodbye, alam naman natin na ikwento ko na rin yun kung paano ko talaga physically uh, pinahirapan si Catherine. Just so he could, she could be Joey, and she did wonderfully, no. But uh, because Marie, uh, ay nag, uh, kumbaga, nag may konting pag shift ng character. That's why Catherine. Siya magsasabi ko ano yung tingin niya malapit. Pero kasi si Alden na hirapan ako. Kung mas madale nung nakaraan ng HLG closer to him, ako naniniwala ako mas medyo malayo yung a portion of the film dito ng HLA uh, kay Alden. In fact, sabi ko sa kanya, Jay, gagawin mo ba to? Ay ano, mararamdaman mo ba to? Hindi direct eh. Tay tayo dyan. <laughs> Uh, I, we cannot say exactly what it is because it's like telling you the story already. But then yes, it's hard because hindi si Alden, si Ethan in a certain portion of the film. Yes, because there are um, actually there are scenes para na since nga si uh, Ethan somehow napunta sa Canada for some reason, de ba? Ni mga bagay ito na parang tinatanong ako ng direktante, Jay, kung ikaw ba, gagawin mo to? Tapos pag sinasabi ko, oh po, directing. Parang, parang nagugulat siya, wala bang, wala bang ano dyan? Parang, a certain, uh, this certain trait na hinahanap ni director. Sabi ko, tatry ko po, direct. Pero, yun nga, parang there's, ngayon si Ethan is, uh, somehow shifted also after, you know, flying uh, from Hong Kong to Canada. And, I think one of the reasons why is talagang malaki yung mga ba efe epekto ng mga bagay na nangyayari sa atin sa paligid natin. Uh, and yung judgment natin is nababago based on the circumstances around us. So, I think yun lang yung naging struggle. Parang yung Ethan before, medyo yung, yung uh, similarities po na meron kaming dalawa siguro, I think it's really love for the family, hardworking, sacrifice, that's him. But right now, medyo may mga bagay si Ethan na hindi uh, na hindi niya kayang gawin pero kaya ni Alden gawin. Yeah. Uh, right. Thank you. Kat? Iisip po ko lang siya. Without spoiling eh, no? Baka mas spoil eh. At siya lang, sobrang layo kasi talaga. Sobrang layo. <clears throat> sobrang layo siya sa akin. Kaya siya masaya gawin kasi malayo talaga. Um, the way um, she talks, kung paano the way she carries herself, the way she handles things. Sobrang iba siya kung bunt ako. <laughs> Asuntutan ko kasi meron kami ng isena din eh. Sabi ko, Catherine, tinatapos mo na pelikula, tigilan mo. <laughs> kasi si Catherine daw, yun ang gagawin niya. <laughs> so siguro, um, pag similarities, you know, I can relate so much sa character ni Ethan. I think, and si Joy, and Marie, it's ah, Alden, yes. yes. Yeah. Iba talaga. <laughs> Kasi di ba si Joy, ano siya eh, um, may puso din naman, pero parati rin hinisip niya. Kung gagawin niya, practical ba to? Okay. Okay. Si Ethan parang puro puso naman. May siyempre nag-iisip din naman siya, but parati siya, sinusundan niya what feels right, and kung ano yung feeling niya kung saan magaan yung puso niya. And I'm like that as a person. Bago ko isipin yung bagay, yung uunahin ko is, um, tama ba ito na feel? Ba happy ba ako? Yung heart ko muna yung inuuna ka and then I think about it. Well, pag naman si Itisoy, parang ano siya, uh, 
did you incorporate in this movie that we haven't seen in your previous films? <laughs> Thesis yata ito, ha? Ano yung mga new ideas or approaches? Lalo siguro ikaw, Joros, parang yung meron pang bagong in-incorporate kasi nakita ka na namin sa HLG. Ano yung bagong inihain ng character mo dito sa Hello, Love Again? Uh, look. What? Wow. Look. <laughs> Hindi, kapag mapansin ninyo iba yung tsura ko sa ano, sabi ni na direct kasi, oh, ikaw bahala ka ng itsura mo. So, ayun. Ang dami ko pa sanang ko sa bag-working. Uh, Bartender ka sa Hong Kong, tama? Ha? Bartender. Yes, yes. Dito parang barista. Barista. Kaya nga sabi ko, same-same but different. Ah, tama. Same-same so, but different. Uh, yung feel ng ano, pelikula ito, yun yung ano ka, mas, masabi ko, in general. Yung... Kapag napanood mo siya, kapag rumihistro na talaga sa ano, iba eh. Iba yung dating mas... Baka maano na naman ako dito. Ma-joker. Uh, Oo, oh, <laughs> ang hirap. Mas matumimig ko eh. Uh, yung, yung treatment na ano, kung paano ito itatalabas. Mm. <laughs> ano? Ah? Pwede ba nang sabihin na ano? Hindi. Oo, oh, ang dami. Kaya pinalibutan kami ng mga advisors sa <laughs> amin. Uh, sila na lang tanongin. Hindi, yeah, tanong natin yung writers na lang. Ano ba ang mga bago niyong in-incorporate na ito? Tala. Um, siguro, inevitable naman na... Uh, inevitable? <laughs> um, mar- marami kasi nagbago, di ba? Para... Ta- tama yung sinasabi ni, ni Catherine kanina na s- kunwari lang kay Joy, di ba, na yung pinagtaanan niya sa Hong Kong, bit-bit niya yun, papunta sa Canada, lahat, eh, pati si Ethan, di ba, bit-bit nila yun, pero yung may mga pagdadaanan pa sila na babago sa kanila. So, anong tanong? <laughs> Baka may, may masabi rin ako, ma-eject din ako dito. <laughs> New approaches daw, kung mapagong inihain nyo sa movie. Of course, yung sa... Hindi, <laughs> tutulungan ko lang. Kung ma-eject, dalawa kami. De, ano, kasi uh, automatic naman yun eh. Kung baga, time sa kayong uh, culture changes okay. the... Ano. Same pa rin naman yung ano eh. Uh, about yung mga... About love and about sa mga international workers natin. Pero yung... Ano, nagpapaalam din yung mga <laughs> Pero dahil nga yung nasa ibang lugar sila, uh, ibang culture, tapos yung time na... Do... Sige, sige, mamaya ka na magsalita. Uh, so, sige, sige. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Magkakaroon po siya ng sasabihin pag nasabi na ni Carly. Okay. Uh, yan yung approach, yung idea. Siguro for, uh, for doing yung first part, yung Hello, Love, Goodbye, it was told in a way na how you how you saw how you saw the film. The way that we told the story of Hello Love Again is different than this time. Okay. So there's something different in the manner, in the way, in the structure that we told the story. So isa yun sa mga aabangan nila sa pelikula kasi hindi lang siya dire-diretso. So may lalo kaming something, mga elements in terms of telling the story because we're telling a story of yung five years eh. Yeah. So, 
there's something. And time is a very big element in the film. Kasi di ba yun nga eh, from Hong Kong, di ba time ano, stops when you don't use it. Time, ano, parang time starts now, di ba? Magkikita rin ng mga future, so ano yung element ng time. So thematically, we also played with that. Um, structurally, right. uh, when we wrote, when we conceptualized with it, and even the treatment also. Nagpaalam ako kayo na rin pwede naman daw sabihin to. Uh, kaya sina, maganda rin sinasuggest ni Kat na panoorin nyo ulit yung part 1. Direct continuation din to. Yeah. Ng ano. So mas maitatawid to. Pero yun, hanggang doon lang yung pinayagan ako ni Direct. Joy left 2019. Joy left August, July, August 2019. 19. So, important yun. I see, Greg. Ah, yun. Pero kasi crucial yun eh. Immediately ba? Or... Okay. Uh, ano lang yung kumbaga, parang refresher lang yung pagkapanood na kinawala ko again. But this one will stand alone. No, actually, syempre, uh, just like any other films, no, you would always want to give your audience something new. Uh-huh. Hindi naman pwede kung ano yung napanood dati, gano'n na gano'n, di ba? Tumanda na rin ang mga viewers natin, five years older, therefore meron din nagbago sa kanila. So kailangan talaga, no? uh, sabi nga ni, ni Krista, inevitable, <laughs> na bigyan mo siya ng level up, no? Tama. Please, di ba? Hindi lahat, kasi ayaw naman natin gulatin ang lahat na ay parang ibang pelikula na to. Uh, the characters remain the same, but then they grow. Ayaw mo rin naman na walang natutunan to si Maria at si Ethan, di ba? Si Joy. So everybody, uh, grow it, uh, ano, ano bang sinasabi ko? Tama naman, tawag tayo, susunan kita. Susunan kita. Ano, anak, ano, ano ba sinasabi niyo? Saan tayo pagahin ko na mo? Hindi, hindi, hindi. At, regarding panunood ng HLG. But, alam naman namin na marami pang hindi nakapanood ng Hello, Love, Goodbye. So, ayaw naman namin siyang ilimit lang sa mga Pwede to movie na to. This movie is only for those who have watched Hello, Love, Goodbye. Hindi po. That you can watch Hello, Love again even without the knowledge of Hello, Love, Good- Goodbye. Oh, we made sure na it's a stand. Kumbaga, titindig yung kwento. Titindig siya kahit di mo napanood ang Hello, Love, Goodbye. Ayun. Alright. Let's move on to another debating. <laughs> okay. For our uh, other cast members, what's your reaction when you got casted? You just say hello, love again. <laughs> so Zoom, let's start with the Zoom. Jobber? Ah, uh, napatso ako. Buhay na ko nun eh. <laughs> Tonto ko ka. Tonto ka ako. Kasi di ba, dito na ako sa kanan. Tinawagan nila ako. So sabi ko, ano gagawin ko? Tapos di ba, lamang mas direktati. Siyempre, galing ka sa... Sip ko puro. Tapos biglang direkati yung, ano, yung mga kasama. Tutuwa-tuwa ako na hindi ko alam gagawin ko. Pero nung nakasama ako, ang dami ko natutunan. Ang dami ko natutunan yun. Tapos yung mga kasama ko. Di ba? Bago nga ano, bago mundo. Pero ako na ko pa rin ako. <laughs> bago mundo pero the same funny and uh, a comedic jobber. Maraming salamat jobber. Mark? What was your reaction? Well, okay, so, you know, I've done movies with like Gerard Butler, I've done stuff with John Legend. Wow, Magic, and... man. <laughs> I was so scared, Dexter. And I was like, what do I do? How do I do my hands? How do I, you know, because Direct really puts her, it's really so grounded, you no? Know? And I didn't have to be anyone else but bring my heart and soul into the film. And, that's what I love about Direct, and that's what I really learned from her, Talaga, is be you, you know, put your heart and soul into it, and just be. And that's that's what I love about Beans. Thank you, Mark. Mark, reaction mo? Well, of course, yeah, so we're all excited ako when uh, Leo, our, our friend, uh, told us na maging part ng Hello Love Again. Uh, uh, this is actually my first acting. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Uh, I am a chef, my profession. Pero I think chef, I'm chef din ako sa ganon yan. And um, yeah, um, ano ba? Um, we're not tapta ko siya, kasi pero wow, uh, this is uh, different. Uh, well, nag 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 uh, extra ako sa other films. 
ng dito sa 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 US and uh, yung even si Benny and love you sa extra love the girl this time talaga may acting tapos sa dami ng tutulong sa kay direct happy sobra as in talaga very very particular siya so ah gusto ko yung ano lahat lahat talaga it's very detailed sa kaka ano yung gusto niya ng i i i i para sa lahat ng kailangan talaga mag 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 deliver mo talaga yung dapat ah Uh, and everything dapat to the exact very detail lahat. Sobrang ang galing nakakuha. Parang for me na dito sa LA kasi kasi si Mark nakita ko pa sa shooting with my dad, uh, Kevin. Sa, sa ano, sa yung style ni Derek Nam, sobrang ang galing. Nakakuha. It's, it's very, very, uh, something new for me. Talagang, uh, as a proud of what I want, kasi talaga ang galing ni Catherine sa kanil Alvin. Sobrang galing, oh my gosh. Natutuwa ako. <laughs> All right, thank you, Marvin. Kevin, what was your reaction when you got the call that you'll be working with a Filipino team for a movie? Uh, I was well. It didn't really come as like, "Hey, you're you're hired for this." <laughs> they, uh, we went on a call and they explained the character and the movie in itself. And I fell in love with the movie. I just I watched it and I loved it. And I was like, "Wow, I can't wait to be in this." And especially having so many Filipino friends and working with Filipinos before, I just thought it'd be something fun to show off to my Filipino friends in America as well. Uh, and to be in such a beloved movie that the um, you know, country just loves so much, it was just like, I was just so excited that I could play a part in this. All right, thank you, Kevin. Janika, busy, busy, kano mga oras at inawagan kay? Um, yung reaction ko, yung sinabi ko sa akin ng manager ko, si Ate Gil, ano, syempre, hindi ko sabihin na to, pero kinabahan po kasi talaga ako. Kinabahan ako, tapos dahil ano, mahihain po ako, iniisip ko kung labano kaya to. Tapos, um, yung may ginagawa ko rin po dito yung saving grace at That's that right. time. So sabi ko na wala akong tulog nito masyado kung isasabay natin sa paggawa ng ng film, pero isip ko, bawal kang sabaw kasi direkta dito. <laughs> Para sobrang blessing na napasama ka pa dyan. Ngayon, nung nakita ka na po si direkta dito in person, di ba minamaster ko yung courage ko na mawala yung hiya ko. So, iniisip ko, hindi, okay lang, hindi naman siguro o oh, si direkta dito na makasta ko dito kung um, wala naman siyang tiwala. Ito na, nakita ko na si direkta dito. Okay. <laughs> Ang unang linya sa akin ni direkta dito. Uh, anak, uh, pasensya ka na. Hindi kasi kita kilala. Oh, oh my God! Oh, wait! Ako sa Pilipinas! Paano matanggal yung hiya ko nito? Okay, okay. Pero sobrang mabit naman po si Derekati. Very spontaneous lang talaga. Kaya yung presence of mind... And very honest! Dapat... Diba? Yes po. Yung presence of mind mo po dapat talaga nandun. Kasi mabilis kapag meron siyang binigay na instruction makinig ka talaga. Tama. You listen. And then, pag may inayo siya, kunyari yung buhok mo or something, huwag ka nang gumala. <laughs> Kasi huwag ka nang magdadad na kung ano mong nararamdaman yung direktati ngayon. Talaga, makinig ka na lang. Tawa. Uy, so na i-qualify ko naman yung hindi kita kilala. Hindi ako kahit ka naman direktati. Kasi nga hindi yung pa nakakatrabaho. So I don't know, funny ba siya? Um, dramatic actress ba siya? Can she do comedy? So I really had no idea. So I was watching her. At that time, hindi ko pa alam ang gagawin ko sa kanya. We developed the character as we went along because I don't know how how much she, she can do it. Right, right. <laughs> Nag-deliver naman, di ba? Magsalita ka nga ulit, ano? Hindi sabihin mo nga, hello po. Hello po. Ayan. Di ba ganyan siya? At tumalot kayo sa pikula. Sige, sige. Panonood na. Valerie, ikaw, when you got the call? Ako, siyempre, ano, sobrang, sobrang thankful ako kasi siyempre, I just gave birth and this is my first project simula nung pinangan ako yung Butsu ko. So, to get this call na papasama ako, tapos kasama ako sa Canada for a month, I was like, totoo ba? OMG! 
Ito na yun. Ito na yun. <laughs> Tapos yun nga, maka-work ulit si Derek Cathy. First time ko maka-work si Katrina at si Alde. Talagang, I was really excited. Sabi ko, okay, game on. Hindi ko pa alam yung character ko. Okay, game. Ganyan. Yeah. So, pagdating doon sa Canada, iba yung na-explain sa akin na character ko doon sa naging character ko. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, and then, ang lorong yun. So, so naalala ko, first uh, scene ko, kabato ka bato ako. Kasi sabi ng Derek Cathy sa akin, Val, nasa yung timing? Kasi di ba parang, yung mga recent projects ko kasi, ano, um, puro kontrabida. So dito, very refreshing kasi mabait na valid yung mga manood yun dito. Kung baga very, ano, uh, kung naalala niyo po ako sa Wowie, malagamit yung energy. Uh-huh. <laughs> parang, ko yun natin. Kaya ako pati nga siya sabi, oh, di na flashbox sa akin yung Wowie. So, so, so bubbly. Yes. Bubbly yung yung character here. Oh. So sabi ng Drekati sa akin, Dahil hindi na sa game time ng isip ko ah, eh, sumakit yung bato ko. Sabi ko sa tali, paano ko may i-adjust to? Pero yun nga, as we get along nung, nung, nung tumatagal na, na-adjust ko na rin naman yung sarili ko, tapos na kukuha ko na yung character ni Jambi. So, ayun, happy, super happy ako na nabawa ko sila. I'm very uh, honored and uh, thankful. Ikaw, Joros, automatic, alam mo, kasama ka. Uh, Matik. Nag-audition ako. Ay, talaga? Nag-audition ako para makuha ko ulit yung role ko. Kasi para nangilipan yun. Kasi lahat na elbow, ikaw lang natin. Uh, <laughs> tapos nagpapadala ako ng pansit araw-araw sa mga bahay ng mga writers and directors. Hello po! Hello po, hey, hello po. from Jorus po. From Jorus slash Jim. Hindi, ah... Ano eh, parang late, late na kasi na ano eh. Na-advise sa'yo na kasama ka? Oo. Oh. Nag- namili pa kasi kung si Jeff Tam o siya. Ah! So, siniraan niya muna si Jeff Tam. Hindi, <laughs> nakakatao. Parehas kami ni Jeff Tam na may, ano, ka- Canada visa. Oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, kasi pa-blandy na rin ako kasi pag magkailangan mo kang Canadian eh. So, ayun, buti busy si Jeff Tam. Kaya <laughs> <laughs> ikaw ang nabili. Ikaw ang nabili. Thank you, Jorah. So, maraming salamat. Okay. Let's go now to our uh, next question from Random Republica for Joros. May pressure pa rin ba na laging sinasabing pag nasa movie ka, box office hit? Oh, malaki. Hindi ka na. Sa kanila. Ako kasi di ako nga naniniwala sa luck. Bless lang ako na nakakasama ako okay. sa mga, mga ganda pelikula. Ayun, pelikula rin naman. Lahat yun din na Dick Clark, na direct. So, ayun, bless lang talaga ako. I am grateful na... Uh, yung mga ginagawang pelikula ng uh, napapasama ko sa Star Cinema at ngayon, kasama rin yung GMA Pictures. Sobrang nakakatuwa. Thank you, Lord. All glory to God. Amen. Alright. This is our last question. Ama, last question for Alden and Cap. Do you believe in second chances? Ako, um, simplihan ko lang yung answer. Dito. Go. Kung Diyos nga, nagpapatawad ko ba? Why not you? But sometimes... Uh... <laughs> Ganda na eh! Hindi lagi mo pa lang but sometimes eh! Ano po kasi hindi ko sabihin? Hindi, depende pa rin talaga sila. <laughs> Ewan ko sa'yo! Hindi, hindi, yun nga. Um, Ako, yun lang kasi yung matra ko sa buhay, di ba? Especially, you know, people tend to really make mistakes over and over again. You know, you, sometimes hindi naman natin may iwasan talaga na meron at meron tayong mga magagawa na yung kakasama ng loob ng ibang tao. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you just, you know, yung iba, minsan forgiveness talaga. Yung forgiveness and you, you forgive and then you forget. But sometimes, you forgive and move on. But you never forget. Daming explain ni Alden. Ganda na kanina eh. Okay na. Okay. Why growing? Okay. Kat, ikaw. Do you believe in second chances? Second chances. Um, we all hope for a second chance. Definitely. Diba? Lahat tayo, tao lang. We're human beings. Even ako, sa sarili ko, alam ko na um, magkakamali at magkakamali ako. Um, makaka-disappoint ako ng tao. Whether it's intentional or unintentional. Given yung tao tayo, nagkakamali. And we all, um, 
ako, personally, I do anything to um, be given that second chance again, that opportunity to um, to correct my wrongdoings, to rebuild relationships, I guess, and to maybe regain trust. All these things, lahat important of forgiveness, syempre. But again, we have to remember, we're all different. Diba? Some people um, can give a second chance, like the soy. Some can give multiple chances, and some won't. And that's okay. And we have to respect that. Kasi iba-iba naman tayong tao. So, depende talaga siya sa sitwasyon. And for me, um, lagi ko iniisip na forgiveness um, or second chances isn't an, um, isn't an obligation. It's a choice and it's a gift. So, kapag binigay sa iyo ng tao, it's a privilege. Just like any gift, you have to take care of that and you have to earn that gift. Thank you, Kath. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nagtanong. We're now moving to our next big announcement. Pero, ha? Huh? Pero may tanong muna ako. May tanong muna ako kay Katrina na ako. Alam mo naman, di pwede ko lang pahabol. Wala sa script ko. During our interview, Alden, I asked you, this was two months ago in Calgary, I asked you, you 1 to 100, kamusta na yung closeness niyo ngayon? You said 85. Right now, if tanong ko kayo, 1 to 100, yung closeness niyo ngayon. Alright, ready? Okay. Percentage. Percentage, 1 to 100. Okay. 1, 2, 3. 87. November 13. Hindi pa to nagagawa ng isang local film in the Philippines. This is the first time we're doing it. And sobra yung excitement ng mga cinemas to do this. The midnight screenings. Kaya maraming salamat sa mga partners natin cinemas who participated in this midnight screening. Grabe! Ano reaction nyo doon? Quick reaction. Actually, no, sinabi nila yung MJ, hindi pa kami familiar. They have to explain kung okay. ano yung meaning ng midnight screening. This is the first time I heard about it. And then, in explain nila, sabi ko, kung ako yung regular viewer, parang doon ako sa midnight screening. Kasi, okay. Kasi, 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 Kagaya ni sabi mo, MJ, this is the first Filipino film the first in history na gagawa ng midnight screen. So we're just very happy. Thank you po. Thank you so much sa lahat ng SMs, no? Iba-iba ka. Iba-iba mo. 72 cinemas so far, ha? Baka kami may humabol dyan. We don't know. Habol, 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 habol mo sa mga cinemas. Okay. Oh, nga pala, we forgot to mention kanina that we are screening in North America, right? Alam nyo ba na 200 to 250 so far, so far ah, cinemas 
ang magpapalabas ng Hello Love Again in North America. We are definitely making history here. The widest for a Filipino film screening in North America. Props to the whole team for making this possible. And on that note, let's invite everybody. Siguro sinunan natin sa mga kasama nating uh, celebrities sa Zoom. Let's start with Jobber. Please invite everybody. Um, hindi po kayo po na panorin itong Woody Allen and yung sigurado pa na lahat ng Filipino na abroad at lahat ng mga buong pamilya na mag-enjoy kayo rito. Iiyak kayo, tatawa kayo at tatawa ang puso nyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Jobber. It's so nice to see you. Mark? So also, shout out to Dita Ruben Rodriguez, who plays my aunt. Um, I want to give you guys a hi from, 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 to everybody from her. And she's really excited about her film. I mean, this film really is real chemistry, real love, real heart, real soul. Everyone put their heart and soul into this. So please, you're going to love it so much. You're going to watch it, I promise. Thank you, Mark. Marvin. Yes, I want to invite everyone to watch the film Blood of Again, especially our workers. We have a lot of people here, so it's really realistic. It's full of laughter and it's everything. So it's really good. Watch for you. Thank you, Marvin. Kevin. So I love a good love story, and if you do too, please go watch uh, Hello Love Again. There's no excuse not to see it. It's <laughs> at, if you're near you, it's open at midnight if you're a night owl, and it's, uh, it's a great movie, so go watch it. Thank you, Kevin. Right here is a little bit together. Talay ko naman, please invite everybody. Um, siguro gusto mo na ko nang mag-thank you because, di ba, ang dami. Ang dami na kagad, nararamdaman na kagad namin yung excitement at yung pagtanggap sa pelikula, wala pa. So, maraming maraming salamat po. And, yun, sabi, balik ko lang ulit dun sa sinabi ni Dela Cathy kanina na, di ba, yung pelikula naman, etong pelikula na to, yung hope namin, makonect maka talaga lahat ng Pilipino. That's why yung mga opportunities na binibigay niya para mapanood ng maraming pang Pilipino sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. Thank you, thank you so much. And, Yon, it's a journey, so please, please uh, join us in this journey from Hong Kong now to Canada. Hello, love again on November 13th. Thank you. Thank you, Tala. Harvey? Gusto mo ko pasalamat sa lahat because we never really imagined that we would be able to create, to make, to be all together again after five years. So thank you to everyone who supported Hello, Love, Goodbye, who prayed for a scene. Well, who manifested for this to happen. Here we are all together again. Uh, we're all inviting you. Tayo yung humili nitong lahat. So, ito na yun. So, magsama-sama tayo ang manood sa mga sinihan wherever you are in the world. And let us all come home together. Let us feel that warm hug of a home. See you! Oh, pero talaga ito ni Marv talaga. Oh, hindi. Nang lahat. Nang lahat. Jenica! Sigundahan ko lang po yung sinabi ni Evan na walang dahilan para hindi manood. Lalo na pinagbibigahan ng isang Alien Richards, ng isang Kathleen Bernardo at Director de Derekati. Mag-e-enjoy ko tayo na. Thank you, Jenica. Val! Ngayon pa lang po, nagpapasalamat na po kami sa mainit ninyong pagtanggap. Sana po sa darating na November 13, ay lalo pa po namin maramdaman ang inyong pagmamahal at suporta para sa Hello Love Again. So yun po. Thank you so much. Nakasal ka nila, oh, Val, oh. They're mocking you daw, oh. Para ano po si Hala. Hindi. Sinasabi niya from Jenny. From Jenny ka kasi, I'm dancing. Thank you. I'm so serious. Oh, ito, Joros naman. Oh, ito na. Gusto ko lang tresera na tresera na tayo. Masa na panoorin po ninyo ang Hello Love Again 
ay mga international uh, workers natin, historian ninyo to, at mga international watchers natin. Sana po panoorin po ninyo lahat at mag-enjoy po tayo. Let's celebrate Philippine Cinema! Yes! At lahat tayo dito sa Pilipinas, support natin ang pelikula. Thank you! Konsehala Joros. Okay. Then I can't eat your turn. Okay, I I would like to start by thanking everyone because I might not have a chance to do this. Uh, simulan ko kina, because I'm not going to LA, Mark and Marvin. So I miss your cooking, Marvin and Uno and uh. Sino ba tong pang Jumping job, jumping job, work. Thank you, thank you so much, and of course, Jenica, Val, and Joros. Um, of course, to my mama and son, kayo. Si Miss Ruby, uh, si si ano si Tonton. Uh, yung mga pa, yung mga pabigat, Jeff Tam, Kakai, Lovely, My My. Alam niyo po, lagi siya sa akin. Uh, si Jameson, si Anthony Jennings, si Lita Pimentel. Si Maricel, Maricel Lasso, si Wilbert, ano? Wilbert, oo. William Lorenzo, sa may bata yung dalaga, yung... Lizelle. Ah? Lizelle. Si Lizelle. Alam niyo po, uh, whenever they say congratulations, na like Cathy, ang ganda ng pelikula mo, meron akong ano, feeling na parang si Carly. It is never my film. It was never mine. A film can never be created by just one person. At grabe ang utang na loob ko sa lahat mula sa nag-isip ng kwentong to. Of course, the, andyan ang management, no? Uh, but uh, management, tapos yung kwento, lahat na nagpuyat, nag-isip, uh, papunta yan sa mga artistang inarte, binigyan ng buhay yung kwento sa mga crew na sumuporta, mga marketing, uh, promo natin, sin ano, lahat po yan ay tulong-tulong and um, I am just very blessed to have worked with them in completing Hello Love Again. It wasn't a simple sale. Marami rin pong pinagdaanan ng Hello Love Again bago nakarating at natapos ang pelikula ng to. And uh, ang laking ginhawa na ang mga katrabaho mo ay kasama mo sa vision na gumawa na isang magandang pelikula. And with this, I would like to invite everyone, uh, especially lalo ng mga kababayan natin, uh, thank you sa lahat ng mga nasa Calgary. Thank you, thank you so much as a Calgary team, thank you so much sa Hong Kong team, thank you so much. At sa lahat ng nanood sa Calgary at humingi ng pasensya sa mga hindi namin na pagbigyan, makita ninyo in person uh, si uh, Alden at si Catherine. Pero alam ko na iintindihan nyo kami. And thank you so much. Uh, I hope to see you again and to go back to Calgary. I love Calgary. I love Canada. And uh, ano pa ba? Yun. So ito po ay naanyayahan po namin kayo. I always pray every night. I don't pray na kumita siya ng malaki. Ang pinagdarasal ko lang lagi sana ay magustuhan niyo siya. Magustuhan niyo yung movie. Sana makarating kami sa puso niyo. Sana we would want, uh, ako lagi ko yung dream eh. Sana paglabas niyo ng sinihan, gusto niyo magmahal ulit. At umuwi, sabi nga ni Carmi sa home niyo. This movie is about going home and I hope you find your homes. So thank you everyone! I love you! Whatever success this brings, God will offer this to you! Thank you! So ma thank you Derek Ati for doing this. Maraming salamat. Uh, Carmi, you wanna add lang something? Speaking of thank yous, ako, sana, hindi ko pa palang palasin yung opportunity to thank Derek Olive Lamasan from part one until now. She's been there together with us. Happy birthday, Nina! Happy birthday, We love you, Derek. We love you, Nina. Thank you very much from the beginning, from Hong Kong to Canada to wherever in the world. She's always with us. So thank you very much. Thank you, Carmi. Here we are. Alvin, Catherine, your message. Um, but of course, first and foremost, po, nagpapasalamat ako sa tiwala na binigay ng Star Cinema during Hello Love Goodbye. Thank you so much for, for that opportunity. 
And uh, you know, with this, with Hello Love again, ngayon nabigyan din ang opportunity na magkaroon ng first, another first, which is Star Cinema uh, in partnership with GMA Pictures for this project. Um, papasalamat po ako sa creatives natin, kay Tala and kay Ate Carms, of course, for the trust na uh, kaya kong panindigan yung character ni Ethan. Thank you. During the first film then maraming salamat sa tiwala at tinalaw lang again. And of course, sa whole cast, Joros and yan, sila Jeff Kant, sila Kakay. Uh, nagpapasalamat ako dahil uh, nakakaroon ulit ako ng mga bagong kaibigan with this film. And first to Darkati, uh, thank you sa... Parang sa... Since the first time I've worked with you, Trent, I, I made it to a point na just to really be with you in everything. I think that's what really worked. It's the first part and it's the second part. And yung pagawak niyo po sa kamay natin dalawa ni Kat while making the film, I think really helped this story to come into life. And of course, to Kat, thank you so much for the continuous trust uh, working with me. Uh, I know it was not easy you know, to work uh, especially during the first part in Hello Love Goodbye, hindi madali ng Hong Kong. May mga challenges tayo dito sa Canada na pinagdaanan. But ang maganda ng sila, we were all in this together. And that really meant a lot to me. So thank you so much. Uh, I, I think hindi ko magagawa itong project na to without you. So I'm very grateful and maraming salamat sa paghawak sa kamay ko in this project. So to everyone po, to everyone, uh, we're, we're just very proud and we're very happy to have this film brought to life again, of course. And malapit niyo na po siyang mapanood this coming November 13 in cinemas worldwide. Hello love again po. Maraming salamat. Grabe, parang kapusapan kanina. Happy-happy lang tayo pero we can't help but be emotional because, you know, the bond that you've made and, you know, yung tulungan niyo sa isa't isa. Kat, what do you want to say? When they um, told me about this project um, this year, 2024, honestly, I was really scared and hesitant kung gagawin pa itong part 2. Kasi alam naman natin kung gano'ng kalirang gumawa ng sequel. But then sinabi ko, who's gonna direct it? Sino yung team? And nung sinabi nila, it's gonna be the same team that made me say yes to do this again. Because it's their copy, it's the same team, it's with Alden, and I think it's just the perfect time to do this movie. So, andito po ulit tayo ngayon. Um, di kami mapakani makapaniwala na tapos na yung, yung pelikula. At pinopromote na namin kasi parang wala kami time to process it kasi sobrang daming schedule. Tapos ngayon lang sa akin si Saint and oh my god, we're really doing the, the media con. So, Iba lang siguro yung naramdaman kong suporta and yung anticipation sa project na to. Nagkabi yung, um, grabe lang yung support na naramdaman namin from day one. Na lahat ng mga tao, from our bosses, um, to the team, sa crew, yung sa lahat, naramdam mo na lahat nakaganyan, tulong-tulong. Kasi ang hirap kumuha ng sequel. Hindi ako nakakakaba, takot na takot ako, but Naniwala talaga ako dito sa project na to eh. At sinabi sa amin ni Direk Kathy nung sa loob, tas diba Direk, you said, Anak, para mag-work to, kailangan hawak ka may tayo at tatalon ka with me. Kayong dalawa ni Alden, sabi mo sa amin, handa ba kayong tumalon? Sabi namin, yes! So eto kami Direk ngayon, tumalon kami at patuloy na hawak ka ang kamay natin hanggang sa mapanood nila itong movie. Kung paano man nila ito tanggapin, I know in my heart, na sobrang saya ko sa movie na nagawa natin. Sobrang saya ako, MJ. It's such a beautiful story. And I can't wait for you to see it. So please make time for it. Gawa to sa puso. And kung alam nyo lang yung pinagdaanan ng team, more than us, para maging, para magkaroon ng hello love again. Grab it. So, just please make time for it. And, yeah, um, konti na lang. Uh, Mag-iikot kami sa kung saan-saan na probinsya hanggang sa ibang bansa to promote it. So, salamat sa lahat ng mga pinuntahan namin 
amol sa pagtanggap. Salamat sa mga nakakausap namin everyday na sinasabi ng excited sila um, mapanood yung film. Thank you for um, giving us a reason to do another film again. It's all because of you. So now on November, th November 13, let's, um, let's all find joy again. Let's continue um, the love story of Joy and Ethan. And gusto ko malaman what is home for us after watching this. I want to hear your thoughts. So thank you for your time, Dora Press. Maraming salamat. Medyo nalate na tayo. Marami nang dinasagot kasi napasarap yung usapan. But we feel your support. And we need your support until November 13. And sa mga susunod pa po na um, within the succeeding weeks, we need all the support we can get. And nakakatawa kasi lahat kayo may bumabalik na sa, sa sinihan. So come, magkita-kita ulit tayo. Let's all watch this movie. It's gonna be your time. Thank you, MJ. Of course, Kat. Abel, let's invite everybody. Isa ba kayo na mapupuntahan? Ito na nga. This weekend on to, uh, uh, October 19 po at SM City, Ilo Ilo and SM City Kalawakan on October 22, follow Star Cinema.